Wow, that just shifted from like anxiety brain to law of attraction really quick. Good morning, everyone. Welcome to day eight of managed isolation. I woke up feeling really great this morning, actually, like really rejuvenated, really healthy. Ooh, that is bright. I just wanted to show you guys what I've been doing since I know, there we go. I've been talking about um, how I've been suffering with some anxiety lately. I've been really wanting to get sun on my skin even though I can't really go outside because I'm considered to be a close contact with someone who tested positive for COVID on my flight. So I'm in isolation now. I got my test swapped. If you're new to this channel, that's why I'm updating you. Hi, I'm Paisley, by the way. Thanks for watching. <laughs> for those of you who've been keeping up with my situation, hi, welcome back. I love you so much. Nice to see you again. Um, anyway, so I'm in this managed isolation and I can't quite go outside. So um, I have this sliding glass door, but it only opens, can you see, that much. So barely anything. But I have learned that it is just enough for me to slip my leg out and my arm and half of my head, I guess. And I've been making, with this new knowledge, because I have a bunch of pebbles, these stone stacks. And they've been really helpful with calming my nerves and easing my anxiety just because it forces me to be in the present moment and um, kind of use critical thinking skills, I guess, to like find the flat stones to stack them on and it's just a way to show my creativity. I know it's super simple and may seem a little lame, but it's been really nice. And plus I get some sun on my skin while I'm at it. So it's about 8.30 in the morning. I'm about to call one of my best friends, Emily. I've known her since literally kindergarten, so it's gonna be nice to catch up with her. Um, yeah, I'm feeling a lot better today. We'll see. Hopefully I get my COVID test back. I think I'll, I'm supposed to get it back tomorrow, but <sighs> staying hopeful. <laughs> I don't have any symptoms still. My camera is flashing. The battery's gonna die, but I'm probably gonna do a little workout today. A little more intense than before, um, because I've been kind of having a couple of lazy days since I started my period and haven't been really feeling... <laughs> up for anything because of anxiety but with this newfound energy i feel good so i'm gonna do a little sweaty workout but yeah gotta calmly gonna enjoy my coffee and enjoy the rest of my day i'll check in with you when something happens <laughs> you guys guess who tested negative tested negative This spicy little senorita is out of isolation. Well, like, extreme isolation. I'm still in this quarantine facility, but oh, I'm out of breath. But I'm able to go outside now because I am negative. Negative. Even though my anxiety brain was going crazy, my body's like, chill, okay? Chill, just chill, you're okay. <sighs> you guys, you have no idea how good it feels to be negative. <laughs> celebrate i'm just gonna do a little booty workout then i'm gonna go outside get some sun on my skin because as you saw this morning it's a beautiful day so cheers to negative tests yeah hey everyone just checking in i think today is just a little appreciation for all the simple things that are making me feel sane i don't know i've just been getting these like little little messages from the universe um like I don't know what it is, but I'm just noticing a lot more things, maybe because I'm not in my anxious brain anymore, but noticing the little things that truly make me happy, like this morning when I was showing you my stone stacks or the Cairns, I think there was that what they're called, but, um, and how, you know, calm those make me, like building those and how much I look forward to going out there in the morning and, you know, getting that sunshine on my skin. And then this morning, for breakfast, I just opened it up and they gave me a little immunity juice and it has like turmeric, lemon, ginger, carrot, and apple. I love juices like this and it's just like, <laughs> makes me so happy. And 
just the little things. I don't know, I feel really good and it's probably because I have a negative test and I'm feeling a lot more at ease knowing that I'm not gonna be taken away from this facility and put in isolation for another 14 days. I'm feeling very grateful about that. And I just did a workout so my endorphins are totally flowing. I'm feeling super strong and now I get to drink my yummy juice. <laughs> and then I should be getting a call letting me know that I am out of hardcore isolation. I'm gonna go for a walk. And um, yeah, just feeling really grateful today. <laughs> Check in with you guys soon. Hey, it's been a hot second. Um, more like seven hours. <laughs> um, but I just got a call from the front desk saying that I got an Uber Eats and um, I know what it is. Jack ordered me a pizza. <laughs> so if you saw, I'll place a video that I put last night in last night's video, which was All I need is some wine and pizza. So he ordered me a pizza. I mean, I don't know if that was the direct correlation, but today he's just like, what pizza do you want from Hell's Pizza? So did I manifest it? Did he watch that video? The world may never know, but I'm gonna go get it. Ooh, <laughs> I'm so excited. <laughs> first things first, I know that he got me vegan chicken nuggets because I'm obsessed with them or I was when I was out here before oh yeah baby we got those vegan nuggets and the cutest little pizza I'm honestly I had my lunch like late I had it like literally oh my god it's the cutest fucking pizza ever <laughs> look at that Oh yeah, that is some vegan pizza right there, baby. Should we do a taste test? I know that the nuggets are good, but I've never had this one. It's like the, um, what is it? <laughs> I don't even know. Oh God, what was it called? I don't know, it's the one with the chorizo on it. Sort of like the vegan chorizo. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I have the best boyfriend ever. I do, I really do. <laughs> I do. Hello, everyone. Wow, the lighting is not doing wonders for my skin right now. I'm looking very ghostly. So I haven't really talked to you a lot today. I mean, nothing has really happened. I feel bad because I feel like these, all these videos are the same. It's either me talking about isolation or it's like a sped up video of me doing yoga or some sort of form of movement. So I'm sorry about that. But this whole idea of vulnerability has been playing on my mind since I basically broke down to you in yesterday's video. Um, I'm feeling a lot more stable now, <laughs> which I wanted to touch on because I think that it's pretty incredible how powerful our brains are, right? When I was posed with the threat of possibly having COVID, right, because I was considered to be a close contact with someone who had COVID on my flight, you know, we're in a tiny tube in the air for, my flight was 18 hours long and I was in close proximity to them. However, there has been a study that came out saying that like airplane air circulation is like the healthiest that you can be in and it's actually really safe to be in an airplane during this pandemic and we all have masks on, any hooters. What I'm saying is they have to be safe and everything, but I was like totally chilling after I got my first negative test result back. Like I was like flying high, I'm like, this is a breeze, I'm so grateful for this big room, yada, 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 all this stuff, you know, like, it's okay to be in quarantine on Christmas. Like, my mindset was, like, pretty okay. Pretty stellar, actually. I, <laughs> if I do say so myself, up until I was considered a close contact. And I don't want to, like, minimize my experience or anything or say that, like, what I experienced didn't, I don't know condone any you know reaction but i think that it's really important to see i don't know see discover that like my brain created that right i mean like yes i was posed with that but the 
chances of someone who's asymptomatic to transfer it to another human being, you know, the C word, is really low, like really, really low. And that dude's wife that shares the same room with him and is like kissing all up on him and stuff, she tested negative, he tested positive. Like, if she's safe, then I should be safe. And I couldn't get that thought in my brain because I was so wrapped up in the what if, right? The worst case scenario, because our brains just wanna do that, right? They wanna prepare for the worst case scenario so we can fix it. I don't know what the deal is. Maybe it's just my anxious brain. And I want to <laughs> touch back. The literal card that I pulled that day was, hey, Things are gonna get a little weird, but just like, don't be anxious. Like there's, that's a waste of energy and you should lead with your heart and everything's gonna be okay, you're taken care of. But my brain literally got the best of me. I was so out of my like rational brain that I was in this fight or flight mode because I was posed with the threat that I was gonna be taken away, taken away into somewhere that I didn't wanna go for a longer amount of time. And if I just, I don't know what I could have done, I guess breathed through it more or maybe rewatched my, you know, card reading before or something like that. I don't really know for a gentle reminder, but our brains, I don't, I don't know where I'm going with this. I don't even know if this makes sense, but our brains hold so much power, right? I had those insane, scary, consuming, anxious thoughts because I allowed myself to think that, right? I can control my brain, I can control that. I can tell myself, no, I'm fine. Like saying all the facts that I already know to be true and knowing in my body that I don't have any symptoms, I'm healthy, I'm strong, I'm, you know, all that stuff. Right, like that that's what people mean when they say that like you create your own reality, like you choose happiness, which is so true. We are so in charge of our emotions. We can choose to react or respond. I definitely was reacting yesterday. I was not responding. And something that was so profound that my spiritual health teacher told me when I was in my first two years at community college, I was able to take a spiritual health class, which was amazing. She said the most amazing thing to me that just really clicked to my anxiety brain. And I just did not remind myself this, but she said that when you're dealing with something stressful or something that worries you, I want you to ask yourself this. Is there something that you can do about this situation? If your answer is yes, then why worry? Do the thing that you can do to solve that stressful situation so you no longer have stress. Perfect. However, if it's the same situation and there's a literally nothing you can do, then why worry? If there's a literally nothing you can do or change about the situation or alter, there is no reason to put any other energy into it because it's just the way it is. And sometimes that doesn't necessarily make it easy or right, but it's like, what is the point of putting in so much negative, toxic energy into a situation, a controlled situation like myself that I'm in right now? Like, I can't leave this facility. If I do, then I'm just gonna get put back into this or maybe deported. I don't really know. <laughs> I don't wanna leave because I don't want that to happen, but, right? So like, instead of me being like, mm, what was me? I'm in isolation, sad, upset. I could be like, wow, I'm so blessed to be in such a big room. I'm so blessed to have loved ones who check in on me consistently. And I'm so blessed to have the opportunity to be in this country and to be able to have freedoms once I'm out of these walls. I'm so excited to be able and grateful to be able to go to concerts after this. I'm so excited and grateful to be able to be reunited with my partner. You know, like once you have that positive mindset and you say those words of affirmation or those like positive sentences of gratitude, pure gratitude, that's gonna raise your vibration even more and that's gonna allow you to attract things positively towards you. I hope that makes sense. Wow, that just shifted from like anxiety brain to law of attraction really quick. But I've just been thinking about this a lot because I just really realized, just really honed into this that like, I have so much power over myself and how I feel. I can, I can control what I feel. And again, that doesn't necessarily make it easy or something that I'm going to be able to master in a matter of minutes. But I think it's beautiful that I've gotten to that conclusion. 
that has given me a lot of power and a lot of self-confidence. And sure, maybe I wouldn't have gotten there if I didn't get that negative result, that like positive outcome, right? The outcome that I so wanted and manifested, whatever, my body's just an awesome thing. Thank you, body. But maybe I wouldn't have gotten there if I didn't get the outcome that I wanted, but everything happens for a reason and I think I'm having this revelation for a reason and I think that it's allowing me to step into my personal power even more. Or maybe it's just day eight of quarantine and I'm just overthinking everything and, <laughs> and just thinking way too into my own spiritual um, path and journey. Self growth is really badass though, I gotta say. And I think that being alone in these confined spaces has really forced me to take a look at myself and my inner work and the things that I have to work on still. I mean, we're constantly working on things. I said this in my yoga journey, like I don't think that like we ever reach enlightenment, right? Like gurus are always to be like enlightened. I think that we have peaks of enlightenment, right? But we're human, so we're constantly growing, we're constantly changing, we're constantly, you know, learning something new. So we can have those peaks of enlightenment, but we also carry around the scars that are all over our bodies that we could be triggered to and be pulled back to those moments. But then, there's people yelling, but then that is when our choice to react or respond comes in. Wow, full circle, here we go. I hope that all made sense. I feel like I just went on like a crazy rant. Yeah, that felt really good to voice. I don't know, I hope that resonated with someone on here. <laughs> well, uh, I am still really full from the pizza that Jack gave me. I'm extremely bloated. I haven't had gluten since I've been in here, really. I mean, I had those like little vegan pies, but that was like literally like two bites. And I have a little bit of a tummy ache, so I'm just gonna do some yin yoga, and I'm gonna call it an evening. So, wow, day eight, you guys. Over that halfway hump. Thank you so much for continuing to watch, or if you're new here, thanks so much for clicking this video and coming along the ride posting content every day while in quarantine. We'll see what happens after. Thanks again for holding space for me and allowing me to share that. You guys are amazing. I will talk to you tomorrow then. I'm just gonna watch Netflix, so nothing really cool, but awesome. Thanks for listening again. Bye. Mm.